Welcome back to the Mayor Burgers, everybody. Mayor Reynolds, aka Midnight Mayor, here coming at you with another Dead Drop video. We are just a day before the release of Dead Drop Snapshot 6. I'll be live streaming it on Twitch, both the event and then playing the snapshot. Immediately, I'll be streaming the snapshot all week. So make sure you join me at twitch.tv slash Mayor Reynolds. Now, today, we are talking about brand new teasers that Midnight Society has been drip feeding us. We're going to dissect them, including the most interesting one, perhaps of all, about the vendor which is voiced by dr disrespect himself we're gonna take a look at this there's an updated gun model in here and potential like in-game economy starts uh let's just take a look this is crazy stuff all right so i'm just gonna play it once without saying anything then i'll i'll play it back and i'll show you guys some things to focus on and some speculation here Lose something. You can get it back for a price. Spend wisely. Classic doc lap. Okay, so let's start this over. Okay. Here, notice these are the old Sin models that were in the firing range, kind of in the, in the foreground of the shots here. Lose something. So this character, we assume is, uh, you know, back on the tweet itself, it says the one they call the vendor. That's what they, they tweeted. Also, you cannot understand what he's saying, but Dr. Disrespect, uh, I've seen people speculate that he's translating whatever language this i assume it's a, a person under there but it, i i suppose it could be a synthetic being as well a really cool look on this guy by the way there he is there's obviously a player standing over here a is he a, i think he has a visor cortex i think it's a variant and not a claw you can take a look at this i saw some people saying this is a new shotgun i don't think so at all uh, I think this is a brand new, one, a new finished model for one of the shotguns in the game. One of the existing shotguns. Uh, really sweet model, by the way. Uh, I think this is probably the auto shotgun myself. Uh, has a very, if it's a pump shotgun, uh, you know, you wouldn't expect it to have that magazine on the side. They do have uh, pump shotguns with magazines, but for for this, I'm just thinking this might be the auto shotgun. But I, I think this again, existing shotgun new model finished gun model not something like a new another new shotgun snapshot 5 already has four shotguns in it so i'm not expecting a fifth get it back for price okay so so the point of this whole thing lose something question mark you can get it back you can get it back some coin or a currency on the counter so what this is likely hinting at, there again, there's the, hold on, there's a close-up of the coin. Kind of freeze frame there. Oh, it keeps sucking. There it goes. This, this is obviously some type of coin, some type of currency, some type of item that the player is exchanging with the vendor. Probably hinting at some type of, like, insurance uh, system, which a lot of extraction shooters have, or a, a buyback. I find this really interesting. Um, I don't know how this is going to work exactly. It'll be interesting to see how 12 a.m. implements it. If it's an item that you have insurance on, does that mean that other players cannot loot it in the world? Um, if you have insurance on it, can they loot it, but then you can also still get it back from this vendor, and now the person who looted it has it, and you have, like, a, you know, like, are there now two of it? How will this work? We'll find out tomorrow. I, I'm particularly interested to know how this works because of the eventual blockchain elements. Will this work on all items? Will it work on just basic items? And the big thing I think this hints at is massive inventory changes in this snapshot. You know, in snapshot five, we had a thousand uh, stash spots. I think that's gonna come way down. It'll be closer to something like a traditional extraction shooter with a smaller inventory. It's really gonna increase the value of items like those, you know, the sniper rifles with the with the weapon mods or, 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 or all that stuff. It's going to make all the items and all the loot in the game more valuable. Because otherwise, this like insurance system or buyback system 
really wouldn't wouldn't really even be necessary um because you know you could you could get a hundred sniper rifles right now you could get a hundred level three helmets it's not that tough um but if you have a smaller inventory this system makes a lot more sense the other things that i think this probably confirms is and we speculated about this probably the return of the hideout and we didn't originally expect it in snapshot six but maybe it got bumped up because obviously this vendor is going to be somewhere he's in an environment somewhere where are you going to visit this guy is it going to be in your hideout would be a logical guess right we've also seen hints at the firing range returning this snapshot will we see the firing range return in the hideout this snapshot or a new version of it um who knows but this this whole vendor concept we expect these vendors uh to be in the player hideout i believe 402 has referenced that before that self-contained hub where we had the garage before uh you know the firing range and so on and so forth i would expect the, him to be here i'm expecting uh the various faction interactions to take place there representatives from those factions so on and so forth several other teasers to go over these ones are gonna be a little bit quicker but one thing i'm gonna say before we move on guys be really careful about what you read right now um and what what you believe i guess because these teasers are super exciting but I'm also seeing a lot of people put information out there that's not confirmed. It's super fun to speculate. I do a lot of speculation myself. I always try to say when I'm speculating. Make sure until you hear officially from like 12 a.m. themselves or a dev, just remember that we're all out here speculating really until we get to the, the official word from the team. Um, it's all good fun and uh, we all love to do it, but be careful about what you believe, what you read. You know, until the source we hear it straight from them even from me right, the next mysterious teaser is a wireframe version of an obvious environment there are elements that we see of a sector 3 cold storage here but that makes sense there would be shared design elements a lot of us believe this could be the first hints at a new sector or a new proving ground same not quite the same thing but very similar something to take note of too when looking at this it kind of has me thinking 402 tweeted today that a lot of things are starting and i believe he said hold on let me look the space dust will begin to flow and i think that has something to do with this new environment i i, I think it does and i i think we are going to get a new a new map a new proving ground a new sector super exciting but you'll find out tomorrow and then of course frags you know, virtually confirmed flashbangs just don't cut it. I mean, they can't be more on, on point than that, right? Frags gotta be coming. You never know though. Uh what if what if we're wrong? You maybe know, maybe they're incendiary grenades. Maybe they're not maybe they're not frags. We'll find out soon though, guys. They look like frags, but we'll find out very soon. There's even a couple more things to take note. Right after the dead drop snapshot six reveal event at 6 p.m. EST, which I'll be streaming on my Twitch channel, don't forget. There's going to be a dev meet and greet at 7 p.m. Oh, so be aware that the devs will be playing in game. I think they're going to be in the Midnight Society Discord is how I'm understanding it. People will be able to chat with them, play with them. Super exciting opportunity. So make sure you don't miss out on that. And that's pretty much it for this video, guys. We're going to have a ton of dead drop content coming for you. I'm going to be streaming it day in, day out. Dead drop snapshot six, making tons of videos for this channel. We'll be doing weapon guides. If there's a new sector, you know, map guides, movement guides, describing how the cleaners work and giving you different tips, tricks, all sorts of stuff. This is your place to be for Dead Drop and Midnight Society news. And then, of course, we've got our live action content coming as well. Midnight Part 4 is going to release on July 24th. Something like that, I think. July 23rd, whatever that Sunday is. You'll be seeing it very soon. Check out our Kickstarter, which is in its final week. If you want to help fund that production. Thanks for watching, guys. Mayor Reynolds, a.k.a. Mayor Midnight Mayor. I can't speak tonight. I'm recording this late. Ow. We just launched a Kickstarter for Midnight, our live action Dead Drop series that is set in and inspired by the Dead Drop universe. The response from the 12 a.m. community has been incredible. We have a goal of raising $2,500 to help support the artists working on Midnight in the acting, cinematography, music, and promotional art front. All the funds raised by our Kickstarter will go directly towards the production of Midnight. There's no money being made here. It's all just going back into the series. There are two episodes out now, and there's a third coming very, very, very soon. 
keep your eyes on this check out our kickstarter check out the various rewards for our backers and thank you once again to everybody who's taking the time to watch our series and support it your views your comments your likes your shares your retweets all make a huge difference guys thanks for your time midnight mayor out